Hey everyone and welcome back to a new video. So today I want to do a review of a new mascara which is the Essence Lash Like a Boss Mascara. And Essence for me has a lot of fond memories because when I was younger and I had very little pocket money and I couldn't really afford makeup, I would only buy Essence or Catrice makeup. And I personally had really good experience with Essence products so far. And this mascara comes in a waterproof version as well. Let me quickly open it up. I've never tried the mascara before, I literally bought it yesterday. And what I would like to do is to compare this mascara to one of my current favorite ones, which is the Rimmel Thrill Seeker Mascara. And this mascara gives me quite a lot of volume, which this one does claim to do as well. So this one says it gives you instant volume and length. So this is the wand. I think it looks quite nice, a little bit curved, which I think is actually really nice. I really like um, curved wands. Let me get you in a little bit closer so you can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna apply the mascara here on this eye and I haven't um, done anything to my lashes so I'm not gonna curl them or anything. I just wanna see how it wears. And I'm also gonna check in after a few hours so you can see how it wears and how it performs throughout the day and if it smudges because I really hate mascaras when they smudge. That's like a no-go for me. Let's apply the first coat. Oh, there's a lot of product on the wand. Which does actually remind me a lot of the Rimmel Mascara. Also has a lot of product. I can see the volume part. With the length I struggle a little bit because you can kind of get you kind of get these little clumps on the top of your lashes when you build it up. So this is one coat applied. You can see the difference. I always feel like mascara makes all the difference to your eye makeup. I do think for one coat it's actually quite quite nice. And also for the price I paid eight New Zealand dollars or 850 I think which is kind of like four or five pounds so really really affordable and I think for five pounds that's pretty impressive okay let's try the Rimmel mascara on the other side but I have a feeling that the results gonna be very similar so the the wand looks very similar as well I feel like it's actually a really good dupe so my Rimmel mascara is definitely has a little bit less product on it because I used it so much already when I got it new it definitely gave me a similar vibe to this one with more product on it so I feel like this one gives me a little bit more volume than the essence one but I still really like the way this one looks because I feel like the Rimmel one can look quite bold and like it can be quite a lot sometimes if you just want to have like a simple makeup I feel like that's quite an intense mascara but that one gives me a little bit less volume but I actually quite like that to be honest I'm gonna try a second layer here on this side See if I can build this up a little bit more. Yeah, I'm not sure about the second layer. Not for me personally. Um, you definitely get like some good old spider lashes. <laughs> like two curls are definitely super intense. I do prefer one coat, but if you do like spider lashes, I think you might really like two coats of this one. I'm gonna put a little bit of the Rimmel mascara on as well. A little bit more just to have a good comparison. Yeah, I feel like that one layers better as well. It's still super intense and it gives me a lot of volume, but not as like spidery as this one. Okay, so here both mascaras close up again, and I do think they give me similar results. So I think they are actually pretty good dupes to each other. I do quite like the Essence mascara. As I said, probably just one coat instead of two. And the Essence mascara does say that it gives instant volume and length, and I would agree to that. I would say it definitely gave me a lot of volume and good length. So I'm gonna wear the mascaras now for a few hours. I'm just at home today, just like doing household bits. And then I'm gonna check back in and then we see if it's smudged and then also come back for any final thoughts. Five hours later. So it's a few hours later and the lighting probably changed a little bit because it already got quite dark outside. So I hope you can still see me fine. But um, yeah, final results. So let me get you in again. So the first thing I can say is there is no major smudging or anything, which is great, specifically um, on the upper lid here, because when I look up, my eyelashes touch my skin and my skin's a little bit oily and nothing has transferred on either side. The only thing I can notice a little bit is a tiny bit of like fallout on the side where the essence mascara is but really not too bad like the tiniest tiniest bit um it might even be that i like didn't apply it properly so like down here a little bit so i would probably and i do that anyways like when i go to the bathroom i kind of like run my finger 
along my bottom lashes and then kind of like clean it up but yeah it performed really well nothing smudged everything stayed put really nicely and probably one thing I noticed as I kind of looked into the mirror and compared it to mascaras I actually prefer the essence side a little bit better than I do the Rimmel side I think the results are very similar. I literally just edited the first part of the video so I had like a good look of the two mascaras side by side as I was wearing them. And I do think they both look very similar. I did say I think they're pretty good dupe. I'd say they're like 80% there to be a good dupe. I'd say this one is definitely more volumizing at the root where this one is a little bit less volumizing. Still gives really nice volume but it separates the lashes a little bit more which also gives it the spidery effect more than the Rimmel one. I think my perfect mascara is one that lengthens my lashes, separates them at the same time but then also gives volume which sounds like a pretty impossible task and it might be an impossible task but I think this mascara does come pretty close to that. The Essence mascara on this side just gives me a little bit more separation compared to the Rimmel one which I personally just prefer a little bit more but I think they're both beautiful mascaras but if I would choose one over the other I probably would go with the Essence one which is a little bit of a surprise to myself as well but yeah I think it's a beautiful mascara and I'm really really glad I picked it up. So final thoughts on this mascara. Firstly it is super affordable which is great. But secondly, I also think it performs really well and it lasts. Obviously, it always depends on what you're after. So if you're after like a natural Bailey Day mascara, I don't think that's the one for you. But if you like one that lengthens your lashes and gives you a little bit um, of a, I wouldn't say dramatic look, but it's definitely there. You can see that you wear mascara. Then I think that one works pretty well. And obviously, if you want to have a bit more of a dramatic effect, you can layer this one quite well. I think the only downside to this one I would say is when you do layer it, it kind of like created those little clumps and I had to go over it a few times and try to get rid of it so it doesn't layer as nicely as the Rimmel one did but you can definitely work with that. But overall I'm super super impressed with it especially with the price tag. So if you are looking for a new everyday mascara I think that one could be a winner. Let me know if you've tried it before or if you have tried any other essence mascaras that you think I should test. So if there's anything you want me to try definitely leave it down in the comments and also give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more makeup and lifestyle content and I hope I see you in my next video. Bye.